So as you can see, I have completed painting the blue. Here's a small sample of uh, all the other parts that I've painted. Uh, I had to give it another coating. But this paint, the the um, the sky blue paint, I had to give it like at least one and a half coating. So I had to give it a, um, a light coat, then another like heavier coat, and then if it conformed well. Some of the parts uh, I had to assemble um, together so that way I can then hold it up and then make sure it's even like the um, like the gun here. I can let's see if I can remove it. Yeah, I'm moving it like this because there's more parts that has to go in the gun. Same thing with the uh, show. Um, torso uh, show a toaster torso side of the body where these two parts are being held right now by friction I can pop it out like that and put it back in and of course the uh, shoulder armor okay. um, some parts had to be redone because of course you know in the light when you airbrush you don't see that it's not painted right but I finally got it and <clears throat> sorry I didn't show you guys this but I decided to paint the red and the yellow and I didn't want to film it because I'm right now I'm running out of time so I gotta get, begin you know assembling this guy quickly but let me just give you a brief glance of what I did as a matter of fact I'll show you this one now as you can see this is a lighter shade of red what I did was I took my X7 red and I, I put two parts red one part white and I lightened it up just the way it would look like in the designer colors which came out pretty good again very few red so it's probably not going to be that noticeable. The yellow was the same thing, except I didn't use um, Tamiya yellow because uh, the one I had was flat yellow. Instead, I used the Acquiesce uh, colors from Gonzo. Now, forgive me, the label peeled off. But this came out pretty good, and it, it's one of the very few paints that I have that's in acrylic. Uh, the, the Mr. Color Gonzo product line used to make a lot of these... Um, acrylic based paints but now they don't make it and it's very hard to get and it's been discontinued so I think it's about time we move on to the next stage assembly alright so now we're going to move on with the assembly of the head for the double O riser uh, first up I gotta put well, I already put this guy in so I need to place the chin Like so. Actually, you know what? Let me put the face mask over the chin and then I could use that as a guide. So. Oh my god, this thing is tight. Oh. I think I see the reason why it's tight. The, um, the pig here got a little crushed. Let me see if I can expand it a bit. And there she goes. Alright. Perfect. Now we can put the whole thing in the in the face. face mask first because it has a peg there that you can hold down the eyes now I'm gonna take this out again because I've been I don't want to use the stickers that came with this I'm actually using the marker to fill in all the dark spots give it a little eyeliner you could say And then we just apply 
it right there. Now, why wouldn't I paint the eyes? Well, guess what? When you when you put the LED lights on, the eyes should light up, according to the manual. All right, so now we put the head part in, which we slide in like that, and slide in with this part as well. Um, probably you guys haven't noticed it. I'd already put the um, stickers on either end of the head. Uh, according to what it says, so I maybe one's off or whatever. But <clears throat> I then put on the um, the clear part that has the etchings inside, and um, let's see if I can. You want to stick it in like that, and then give me something rubbery to push it in. There we go. That should be fine. Can we repeat the next one? There we go. Now according to this we put the uh, the head or the actual kind of the crest over it. Bit of a friction. I gotta find the orientation of this. I think it's this way. Yeah, it's this way. And so we slide that in there. There we go. Now, the bunny ears which has to look like that in this format uh, get over here there we go, get in there too much pressure I don't want to accidentally scratch something so we'll leave it there for now uh, finally I think we have to put this guy in and I think oh it's the opposite direction wow so I have to put him oh no I'm sorry I made a mistake the yellow goes in first See if I can do this quickly, but I know I'm going to make a mistake. There we go. Now we put him, or this part here. And one of the most coolest parts I've ever seen is this red trim, which... Let me clean it up a bit. And... Uh, Let's see, come on, let me clean this up. Yeah. And then the red trim goes here. They're supposed to be, I guess, if I'm not mistaken, oh no, I think I did it right. Alright, fine, we're done. And there you have it, the head's done. Let's move on to the next part. Now we're going to move on to the torso unit build for this kit. And uh, let's see here. Everything is all done with the frame, so all I need to do is put the remaining blue parts and red and white. Um, picking up at step three, five. As I'm reading here, we got this part that goes here. Always remember to wash your hands before you assemble. And then we have this part, which I've already put the frame here. So there we go. That came out good. Nice. Nice and shiny. Not metallic as everybody's secretary be doing. 
the yellow trim. The yellow trim goes down like so. Good, it at least went down smooth. I don't want no resistance whatsoever. All right, so the red trim parts, so you understand it is different. It has a different uh, feel to it, or a different look. One is one is um, specifically designed to go f from one side to the other. So, if I'm not mistaken, I think this... Uh, let's see, does that go there? Um, no, the other way. There. Yes, that came out good. And then, can't go wrong with this guy. Just finding the hole. Come on. Get it in there. Good. That's good. So that part is done. Now, we have the side armor here. Or, excuse me, the chest um. <laughs> I'll say it, the breast armor. And um, I guess we'll use this guy as an example. And I want to make sure I'm doing this correctly. Is it this one or this one? I think it has to go down like that. Okay. Okay, we take this part here and we slide them in. I think that's it. We do the same thing with the other guy. stick this guy or adjust him here and uh, adjust this part here now as you can see it's holding by friction but that's where these two parts come in and uh, let me see the orientation okay so this part will go on top like this And then we have the other one that goes under. Oh, but get it in the area. And there's always a something in there that's saying, no, you don't want to come in. There we go. Good. No nail marks. Let's see if we can repeat that process again. Slide them in at the top. <laughs> All right. Pain in the ass. We'll do it the other way. How about if we do it? This way. Uh, oh, it's, no. It's, if it was that easy, I would have done it. So, we take him. Alright, good. That went down fine. Now we put the next part over, like so. Come on. Come on. Ah, shit. 
That should be fine. <sighs> All right. This part is now done. Done and done. And to show some of the cool features, of course, we stick in the head like so. And looking at the back, we have the little LED device. That supposedly I have to slide them in, but you know what? I have to tighten the screw again, so sorry, I can't do that. But we're almost done. All right. Now we're gonna move on with the arms, and for this, I decided to prepare the arm first, especially around here, the um, the green parts and the decals that goes in it. So first thing I'll do is gonna remove this guy. And then I take. Oh wait a minute! You know what? Let me. I gotta do this in order. So I know there's a specific order for this. Um. Okay. So take this part here. There's apparently two little end pegs there that goes like this. So make sure you know you're not gonna lose the orientation if you do it right. There you go. So the pigs goes nicely in. Alright. Uh, next, take this part here. Let me slide it in to place, like so. Then you cover up the armor, like this. Here and here. And then, okay, good, that's slided in good. And then you have the blue part that goes here. Uh, you, there's no wrong way of putting the blue part, just slide it in and you're fine. There we go. Now, here's the tricky part. You want to make sure that you slide this like that, right here. Get it in there. Uh, for some other reason, I don't know why, but the white paint is then rubs off on the on the gray. So I'm gonna make sure I try not to move it too much. Oh, come on, get in there. Thank you. There we go. So that's done. Now for the shoulder, all I need to do is slightly pop this off like so. Snap this into place with the alignment of the pegs here. Uh, which can be a bit tough if you don't want to scratch up this part here. There we go. Good. And then this cover right here. There you go. So the right and left arm, which now escapes me at this moment, here we go, are done. Don't need to build the hands, you guys know what it is. So let's move on to the next part.